it's going to be painful over at Fox. So I think a lot of people wound up cutting their Fox streaming service. I don't know what that is, that Fox Nation thing, where you pay $6 a month or $6 a year. I don't know what it is, but it, we know CNN was not successful with it. And I think that Fox was probably trying to prop it up. I imagine that a lot of people canceled the day that Tucker left. I know how angry you were when I parted ways. And by the way, I appreciate that. And I appreciate your loyalty, really. And I think that they've just had a a succession of people that they've been like, "Eh, you know, see you because you're willing to say something that maybe the mainstream media is not so fond of. In my case, I pointed to how political the whole March 2020 thing had become. I mean, insanely political. And what do you know? I was right. And Neil Gorsuch, Supreme Court Justice, saying it was the biggest infringement on our civil liberties in history. I'm going to get to that in just a moment. But as we look at Fox and we consider the future of the company, I don't think they have a very deep bench. I don't think they have a lot of people that they can kind of plug and play. Maybe they put Hannity in, you know, whether or not he's able to get the job done. I'm not so sure. I I don't think that that's going to be the answer. I think Tucker was a very different kind of talent. And I I think I was a very different kind of talent. I mean, I'm looking at things not just from a political perspective, but from an economic perspective. He was really good at looking at things through that social lens in in the future. And so consequently, they're going to have a lot of difficulty in the future. But it's not just that. It's the leadership of the organization because you have to ask yourself, how did they get to the position where they were being fined, what they were being fined by Dominion? They still got to go through Smartmatic, right? I mean, that is ultimately, I think, a reflection of leadership not being able to sort of keep the wheels on the bus and like keep everybody usually at a network. And by the way, this is what I don't like about networks. To be very clear, I mean, the freedom that one has here is amazing. Even if I get just 60,000 of you, you know, it's amazing freedom. And I don't have anybody upstairs saying, okay, you can say this, you can't say that, you can have this guest, you can't have that guest. And who knows why? Like sometimes you're not even told why you're just like, nope, no, can't have that one. And so you, you, I have wonderful freedom here. And I think a lot of people that have come out of Fox have chosen this route and been successful at it. And how you want to measure success, you can measure that in different ways. I think if you probably need a steady paycheck, then maybe you go and you take another network job. In my case, it's all about how do I build something new? How do I develop more of a connection with my audience? And to me, that's more valuable than any quote unquote network job, it, it is. And I've, I've had opportunities to go other places and really made this decision in part because of what I went through. I mean, heck, who wants to ever go through anything like that again? So for all you small business owners out there here, here, I mean, that is, that is so rewarding to create something yourself and to be in charge of yourself and your own destiny, right? So that's a big part of what I do. It's, why I think that probably is the future for a lot of content creators. I think that there's going to be a shift where people find their information in different places and different sources, and it's pretty easy to do. And perhaps part of the uptick in the number of people coming here and finding this podcast and finding the channel on YouTube or finding me on a variety of platforms, Facebook as well, or locals, uh, which I'm over at trishregan.locals.com or or Rumble or Apple Podcasts. All of this is about people sampling different things and saying, okay, well, I don't need to rely on that television for my content. I can go get it myself. And so it's very empowering for the consumer. It's also very empowering for us as creators, for sure. I do think that uh, Suzanne will have to negotiate this very difficult time for the organization And given all the challenges that they were met with, and clearly, you know, they never should have been in the position of having a lawsuit to begin with. I'll just say that. Like, nobody knew, by the way, like nobody knew in the beginning, you know, that they're making these accusations about Dominion as a journalist when the president or, you know, the president's advisors are making these accusations, then it it seems as though it is your obligation to follow up on them. And so I don't fault them for that. But at some point, when they seemed to know otherwise, and that was reflected in the text messages, and yet they kept going down the rabbit hole. Well, if they knew one thing and did another, and they didn't have anybody managing them to appropriately you know, negotiate that situation, they wound up being in a situation where they were led by 
their viewers instead of them leading their viewers, which is an interesting thing to think about, right? I mean, you know, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I think. You may not agree with it, but I'm always going to tell you exactly what I think. And I'm often in a situation where you guys are like, no, Trish, we totally disagree. Elon Musk was one. I told you, did I not, that that deal would go through. And you guys were like, oh, you know, because you didn't, you didn't like what the company, and I get it, you didn't like what they were doing to Elon. You agreed with him that he had overpaid and that things were not really adding up. But I was like, hey, you know, this is just reality. The Delaware court is not going to reverse this one. This deal is going to go through at the full share price. I mean, maybe he'll get a haircut. I think I said that because, you know, you never know. Like maybe, maybe Twitter will just get worn down. And like Tiffany, when Tiffany got bought, they agreed to a smaller price tag because they just didn't want to go through the legal hassle. But in the case of Twitter, I told you it would go through. And sure enough, it did. So in the case of, um, in the case of leadership over at Fox or over at Anheuser-Busch, you need to be able to be a strong leader. You need to kind of take the troops through it. And in some cases, this may have been, okay, well, you know, Tucker, if you don't think that there was anything there, there with the Dominion stuff, then you've got to find a way, and she should have worked with him and his team, found a way to tell that story in a way that really wouldn't annoy everyone, like, you know, the marketing executive or Bud Light did. I mean, that is what leadership is about. But they didn't have any leadership there, and so they were put in that situation. And interestingly, she hasn't paid any of the consequence thus far. We will see what happens in the future, though, and a lot of it may come down to whether or not the Murdochs actually think she can lead them through this. And maybe they, they threw her bone with Tucker getting ousted, but what happens now? I, I wish her well. I, I think she's a lovely, lovely, lovely person, and she's been there forever. And, um, you know, she just, it's, you know, everybody has different strengths. And leading talent like that, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Do you know, do you know how, like, <laughs> these big personalities, these quote-unquote talent can be? It can be hard to manage that. It, it, it can be. And so you need a really, really strong leader in the seat to be able to corral everybody, to get them on the same page, because, you know, they, everybody has a different view. But when you work in a network, you kind of have to, like, tow this line. And if nobody's making you tow the line or cares whether you tow the line, and if all they care about is ratings, then people aren't going to really tow the line, and then they get led by some of their viewers. And I, I suspect that that's in part what happened.